What is up, my AMC fam? It's your boy Mike coming at you from. You already know, AMC Movie Theaters here in Temecula, California. Okay, this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. Now, it's Thursday. I think power hour is just about to gonna start right now in a minute or two, just before noon. Okay, now this is what I got for you guys. I know yesterday, AMC was being pushed down, okay? And then as soon as the Fed minutes came out, or the Fed minutes were released, 11 p.m., I'm sorry, 11 a.m. here on the West Coast, which is my time, everything just took a dive. Everything just went down, and it was a massive overreaction from the Fed minutes, which pretty much nothing changed. And that's the thing that's crazy. Nothing really changed, and it's just an overreaction. Now, it just bled out all day long, and someone asked me, how far do I think AMC will go down? And it was in my YouTube, one of the comments. And so I said 2050. I said somewhere around there, I don't see us dropping below that. Now we dropped below, just below $21. Um, that was early today. And we bounced back, it's about 23, and we're trading the high 22s right now, okay? Now I hate talking about, you know, high 22s, okay? But here's the thing is, people talk about wanting the stock to be low, AMC to drop a little bit, so they can have a buying opportunity, okay? That's fine, you have the buying opportunity, but we gotta hold supports. Now here's the thing is, just a few days ago, we're talking about, you know, breaking 30 and holding 30 to support. We're also talking about not um, breaking 27 or falling below 27. Um, not only myself, but a lot of people were, and we ended up doing both of those, okay? We ended up not hitting 30, we ended up breaking below 27, and now we're talking about the high 22s. Also, January 21st, that date, there's only like 37,000 calls that are in the money. Hi. There's only 37,000 calls that are in the money. Now, how's that gonna come out? I mean, who knows? You know, we gotta wait for the CPI report to come out next week and see how, you know, everything's gonna happen. What do I expect for the next few days until the CPI report comes out on the 12th, which is next Wednesday? Pretty much just some sideways action. I don't see us, you know, going too high. I don't see us coming too low. You know, someone brings it to my attention again. It's like, hey, you know, even though the market's falling all over the place, uh, liquidity for these hedge funds um, uh, is becoming strapped. It's becoming pretty difficult. Yes, that is true. Do I think AMC could squeeze at any time? Yes, nothing hasn't changed about my conviction, not at all. But I want everybody to understand just a couple of things. When you talk about AMC, a lot of people have blinders on, okay? They have blinders and they don't see what's peripheral uh, just to what's in the market. And I was talking about Evergrande months ago, months and months ago, just about one of the times that they're possibly gonna default. And at the time they didn't default. How's it going, man? And um, they didn't default, okay? And what they did is they ended up paying, it was like late and it was like probably one of the previous three times before they actually defaulted, it was pretty far back. And people were asking me, why are you talking about Evergrande? Because I said, because at some point this is gonna have an impact on the markets, not only for uh, China, but it's gonna be worldwide. Now, we all know stuff was going on with Evergrande. And this is the crazy thing. Evergrande, I think it was yesterday, was actually going up, was up a few percentage points and AMC was down. And Evergrande is the one that's, you know, doing all the manipulating. And this tells you how shady the market actually is. So getting back on track here. Now, just having blinders on or not seeing anything peripheral to what's going on with AMC, you gotta think of it this way. AMC is a pebble at the beach, okay? There's tons of, there's tons of sand, there's tons of pebbles. That's what makes the beach. And AMC is a byproduct of what happens in the market. Now, AMC, GME combined, yes, they're heavily shorted and there's billions of synthetic shares out for both of them, okay? They are gonna change the market. They are the reason, AMC and GME is the reason why we're in the situation we are today, okay? How we have a movement. And it's, yes, it was started by GME, but here's the thing. There's no beef between AMC and GME. We're all in this together. And now people, you know, I think they're bots and shields, you know, they come out and say, you know, GME is the way you need to sell your AMC. And, you know, they, they pop off and they do all these things like that, okay? But AMC, GME, we're in the same boat together. Once one squeezes, the next one's gonna squeeze right after. It's gonna be hand in hand, they're gonna go in tandem, okay? But right now, I want everybody to understand, I tweeted out yesterday talking about the Fed minutes. Fed minutes are gonna be released, I said, stay strong. I said, stay strong, Fed minutes are being released, and in the meantime, AMC is being pushed down. There was an alarming amount of people that didn't even know what the Fed minutes were. They don't know what the CPI report is. They don't know a lot of things, okay? They pretty much just watch a YouTube channel, and they don't bother to learn anything or just to look outside of like AMC. And then when the market goes down or when AMC starts to go down and it's, let's say it's because it's a byproduct of the market, they think AMC is just, oh, this is BS, it's just AMC. It's actually not just AMC. It's a market thing as well, okay? So yes, AMC and GME, they play a big role in this whole change and a lot of things that are going on. But I want everybody to take time out of the day, even, not even the day, just do it out of your week, okay? Take half hour to find out to learn something find out what a cpi report is find out what fed minutes are find out when they're released look at data find out what short interest is and and learn these things on your own because it makes you a smarter investor so when you know you have somebody that says hey you know what keep money in your account so when the market has a downturn in times like this you actually buy something you believe in and you can wait for a recovery you know 
Um, you know, there's a lot of things going on, but specifically with AMC, you know, my conviction is the same. Nothing hasn't changed. Yes, we're red. We've been pushed down. But again, you know, we're probably going to trade sideways for a few days. And if we don't, great. If we push it upside, amazing. If we don't, and we trade sideways, that's fine too. Be long on AMC. There's billions of synthetic shares on AMC and GME, as well as we own the full multiple times over. It's pretty much the same thing over and over again, okay? You got to remain patient, remain calm, and just again, be long on AMC. Stay away from options, especially now, okay? If you want to yellow it or anything like that, I want you to be stay away from options completely for a little bit because there's a lot of uncertainty in the market until we find a bottom, until you know we start moving to the upside, until something changes because um, January 21st, there's only 37,000 calls that are in the money, which put uh, a couple of days ago, there was 110,000, 101,000, somewhere around there. It was over 100,000. Now there's only 37,000. And per Sanko Tracker, there's about 5.7 million shares still to be borrowed. So there's a lot to come, a lot of changes, a lot is happening, okay? Remember the 25th is coming up, one year anniversary of all this BS when they take over the buy button, take away the buy button and, and all these things, okay? So remain patient, remain calm. And uh, if you have any questions, leave me some questions. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, I'm here for you, give you the best information I can, but you guys have to understand and learn on your own as well, okay? Don't depend on me, don't depend on a lot of people um our youtubers or just twitter you know um and that's another thing twitter i don't know how twitter got so like mean lately it's just it's just crazy you know lighten up twitter folks we all good we all good okay so again like comment subscribe have a blessed day and i'll see you later go amc peace